Okay, so now now we've set up the ad, right? So now let's go to the business page, make sure that it's on the business page. We just set up the entire video ad. This is our first one, intro. It's all about video views to capture the audience. Go to your business page, click refresh right here, and then click on, actually you should be able to just scroll down. And what I want you to do is pin it to the top. So it should be right, right down here. There it is right there. Click on the three dots and pin it. Pin post, pin to top of page right there. Perfect. So this, this whole strategy again, man, is the first ad, the first video ad. We're introducing ourselves. We're calling out our audience, right? We're, we're, we're saying attention restaurant owners and, um, and we're going to park it at the top of our page. So now that it's there, it's good to go. So let's go to back to the ads manager. Remember, videos always put it on the business page first and then come back and run the ad. So if you notice right there, scheduled, click on that, click on that box, check that box, the first one, scheduled. So it's scheduled, it's already approved. Whenever it says scheduled, it's already approved. So what's it approving? It's approving the objective video views. Click on the middle tab, ad sets. Over here, it's showing, it's showing scheduled. So that means that it's already the, the, the targeting, the budget, the calendar, it's already approved, it's scheduled, it's ready to go. And then click on the third one. This will be the only one that stays in review for a while. It might be in review for a few hours. It might be in review for a few minutes, but because it's a new account and because it's your first ad pretty much um, in, a, in a while, it'll probably be in review for a few hours. And that's why I always schedule it to go live the next day. That way I can always give Facebook plenty of time to review it and approve it. And so once it approves, then it'll say scheduled and you should get an email as well. Um, you'll get an email saying that your ad is scheduled to go live or it's approved and ready to go. You'll get some type of notification email. Um, so that's that. We post on the business page and then we, 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 we set up the ad ready to go. Now we're going to create the custom audience and we're going we're gonna to build an audience around everyone who watches this video. So go ahead and click on custom audiences right there. And again, as you navigate through Facebook, always make sure you're in the right account. So right in the top right, Royal Media Marketing Ad Account. Always make sure you're in the right account. So over here, this oh, 25%, so just need to... is, that, is that of that video? I don't think it's that video. Delete this one. Let's redo it. Delete that one. I don't think that's the, that's the video that we're running. So do I click here? Yeah, check the box. Then... Check the box and then just hit delete. We'll just set up a whole new one. Okay, so now we're gonna click the blue button, create audiences, and we're gonna go to custom audience. Yep, click on that blue one. And then custom audiences. And again, as you start to get more into the Karcher web pages, and as we start to create more landing pages, then you'll mm -hmm. start to create custom audiences around website. That's gonna be very, very important. Um, okay. But right now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to hit video, and then let's create an audience around that one. So check, click in the box, choose a content type, click in there. And then it's going to drop down all these different percentages. What I like to do is I like to go at 25% because people that sit there and watch at least 25%, you got their attention. 15 seconds, I mean, 15 seconds, you you somewhat have someone's attention. If they if they scroll through, scroll through the newsfeed and they watch 15 seconds, maybe, maybe, but I want a little bit more. You know, so choose video, click on choose videos. And then, and then choose that one right there. Perfect. Okay. So confirm and then just, you're going to, yeah, leave it 365. That's fine. And then name it. So this is going to be um, intro video or restaurants, intro video. You want to be specific, man. You want to be very, very specific especially if you have multiple businesses, you know, you got your life insurance, you got, you got restaurants that you're going after. Maybe you end up going after grocery stores later on. You want to be able to look at this title and know exactly it was for the intro video of the restaurants. You know what I mean? So try to be very descriptive as possible in, in naming um, these different audiences. So intro video, intro video, Royal media restaurants, and then, and then in parentheses at the end, put 25%. So perfect. 25% right there. Okay. Create audience. And there's that audience, man. So, so now um, hit next. 
hit done. And then that's it. So now from this point on, man, from this point on, from, from actually from, from ad number two and on ad number two and on, you'll always want to retarget this audience. You'll always want to retarget this audience. So where you would put that in is let's, let me show you where to, where to, where to put that in. You're not going to do it now, but on new ads, that's what you'll want to do. So hit the dots to the top left. And let's go to ads manager and, and we'll just open up an ad, but we won't do anything to it. We won't change anything, but I'll show you where you would do it. So normally you would just hit the green button and you'll just go in and set up a new ad. But for the, it, for this example, let me just show you, check the box of the, of the blue one. Check the block, check that box and then click on the middle tab, ad sets. So, and then click on um, edit right below NYC, New Jersey, click on edit. So right over here is where you would put in. Now you're not gonna do it now, but scroll down right there audiences so create no up up you met no no up up go up bro up 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 no you're going down go up right there right there stop so right there you can you can click inside custom audiences click inside that search existing right there so when you click and then you click on custom audience click on custom audience to the right custom audience there's your audience right there. So, so when it comes to future ads, ad number two and on, don't, don't do it right now. Ad number yeah, two yeah. and on, you'll always retarget these audiences. So even, even when you're on ad number nine, ad number nine, and you just done eight ads and every single one of them was a video, you better create a custom audience around every single video. And then, and then you just retarget all of these people who are watching your previous videos. Now, and I, go ahead. And every ad from now on and on will be uh, sending people to landing pages, correct? For ad one. number two and on. Yeah, ad number two and on. Yeah. That's yeah. when you start running conversions, setting pe sending people to a landing page. Okay. But, <clears throat> but you're, you're always retargeting, you know, people who are watching your videos. Um, and then you're also, you're always going to exclude. So from ad number, ad number three and on, ad Ooh. number three and on you're always going to exclude the custom audience of your leads. So if, if from ad number two, you start running conversions to a landing page, the people who opt in and land on your thank you page, that's an audience. And that's a custom audience named leads. So when you go run ad number three and on, you want to start excluding that audience they're already leads so they don't need to keep seeing ads so okay. you'll create a, a an audience around those who land on your thank you page and you'll always want to exclude that audience so okay. that right uh, there man is your first video ad you'll be building a custom audience around those 25 percenters and 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 that's and that's that man that's that so but did we did i did i click anything with that uh, last thing that we were doing to for a custom audience for this ad um like, i don't think i clicked 25 percent over there on the side over where so when we when we made this custom audience for of the 25 What do you mean you didn't you didn't clear anything? Yeah, you did. You just created it. So you just you just you're just done. You 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 chose twenty five percent, didn't you? Go back to the audience. Click on I um, did not. click on the dots to I the did. left. Bro. Dots to the left. Where are you breaking up? Where to the left? Here. Yeah. Click on the dots to the left. Dots. Click on that. Go to audiences. Down. Right there, audiences. So go ahead and check the box and click on um, edit. Check the box and hit where? Edit. Edit? Yeah. All right. Breaking up. Okay. okay so, see. Yeah. People who watch 25%, you did that, bro. You're already done. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. So let that, let that run, man. That's your intro video. And then, and then let's chat again soon. Hit, hit me up again. All right. The only thing that I want to talk next time is about that Zoom link because now when I log, like I I, I don't see the client from the other side, so I'll schedule a call for that.
Yeah, try uh, to test it. Try to test it on, on your end. You could test it on your end. What you want to do is is log into Zoom on your computer and uh -huh. then and then download the Zoom app on your cell phone. I did it. I did it with my sister. I can't see her. I did it with my friend of mine, same thing, like okay. yesterday, like a few times. Even okay. now, if you I don't know if, like you can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen, but you're on my Zoom, so you're not gonna be able to log into yours right now. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, All right, so next time I'll it will just be maybe 15, 20 minutes. Okay, and then... sounds good, man. We'll chat soon. All Let right. Let that then. one run. Okay, bye.